Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I wanted to come on and show you the beautiful gifts that I received from my friend Patty. And, and she has the channel here on YouTube, A Soul's Heartbeat. And I will be sure to link that below. Um, Patty and I have become friends through YouTube and she lives on the other side of uh, the Oregon border from me up in Washington, but not that far away. And her and Paul like to come down here to visit at the coast where I live, and we like to go up her way too. Well, the last two trips um, haven't worked out for us to get together because time before last, as soon as they got here, she had a little trip, a little trippy trip, and fell and broke her arm, and they had to return right back home. And then this time, when they came down, I was sick. So both of those times, we didn't get to spend our time together that we usually do, which was a real bummer. So <clears throat> we are going to try it again here in the very near future and fingers crossed it works out. But anyway, um, she left um, goodies for me and I left goodies for her and um, I wanted to show you the beautiful things that she brought to me, which sat on my dining room table until I finally felt good enough to open them because we wanted to do it on FaceTime, open our things to each other. So, you know, it was kind of like we got to spend some time together. But anyway, so it, it was presented very much more pretty than the way I have it here because, of course, I got into it. <laughs> But let's start with the card. Look at this cute bird sticker that's on the back. Let me, I carefully peeled it up because I <clears throat> am hoping to take this sticker off maybe and reuse it. Boy, it really stuck back down because I guarantee you I read this card, Patty. I really did. But yeah, that sticker stuck back down really well. There we go. <clears throat> Let me just move this to the side so I don't have to have it. So a really cool sort of collage design here on the card with all the different papers. And then I love how she added the strips not completely down flat so they have some dimension. And then she's got the fun artist tools on here. Make the world a better place. Paint your dreams. You don't have to be perfect. And she splattered some gold on here and rubbed some onto the brushes. And then she wrote me a really nice um, message inside here. And this was um, like a scrapbook paper on the inside. This has been added and the Find the Beauty in the Ordinary and more gold splatters. So really neat card. Okay, so these two um, things were tied together with this gorgeous ribbon and these cute little like um, ribbon spools with this lovely ribbon. I love this. Just my colors too for like vintage things right and cute little copper um safety pins in there so sweet and let's start with the little box first since it's on the top so look at this cool box she has um decoupaged these papers or this paper all onto this box and it's got a clear acetate window that I think she said she added the um, speckles to there. And not only did she do the outside, but she did the inside. And this is metal. Isn't that cool? And then the whole outside and the inside of the box is done too. 
Now, I know I didn't put things back as they were, and probably I mixed things between the two packages. So we'll just go through and see what's inside. So this was obviously um, tied around something, but I love this, this um, frayed edged ribbon. And let's just see what's in here. So everything is like little package, which is so fun. And here is another one of those bird stickers. Oh, and these are so cool. <clears throat> Oopsie. So these are um, like brads with a little like door knocker ring on them, but so cool to like put on the spine of a journal or something. There's copper ones and gold ones. And I had told Patty that I had ordered something like this, but I thought mine were a different size. And I happen to have them sitting right here. And they definitely, Patty, are a different size. Mine are much smaller. So, um, and only one color in mine, they're the, the gold. But anyway, I love these. And they're really not um, heavy. Of course, a whole handful of them has a little bit of weight, but for each one, they are not. <clears throat> okay. And then these. Patty posted a video yesterday, so keep that in mind. When you go to her channel um, and check this out, she posted a video of how to make this washi tape so it's done on double-sided tape and it's napkins and different um i don't know if it's all napkins or if some of it is other kinds of papers as well but isn't that cool but yeah she does a tutorial um that like i said she just posted it yesterday up on her channel so there is that one. And she had, um, I think, around these really pretty little pieces of lace that I will get to at some point. <clears throat> and then here is this one. I just love the birds and the butterflies and all the flowers and things. And so these are definitely napkin. You can tell by the feel. And maybe the other one was all napkins too. She said she used, on some she used um, Mod Podge and on the others she used Collage Medium and that could make the difference too in how they feel. But yeah, just little torn pieces of um, different napkins and things, but you can't even tell because, you know, she did such a great job on them. Okay, so these will be really fun to use. Okay, and here are some more of these ribbon spools. And this ribbon is so pretty. It's got three different things, the pretty little pearls, the lace, and then the ribbon in that really nice cream color. And then, of course, she made the um, spools. I told her I have <clears throat> this die, too. I don't know if I have one this this big. Um not sure if mine goes that big. And then here is, um, oh, this is so cool, you guys. This she made from um, receipt, like uh, cash register tape, you know, or adding machine tape. And then she just stamped all the design on it. Isn't that cool? That is a great idea. Just get yourself a roll of adding machine or receipt tape and stamp away. 
<clears throat> and this was a fun little um, package of um, lady stickers. She said she stuck in that they turned out, it's they're called Retro Girls. I don't know what those words are, but anyway, um, she said they weren't quite her taste. And I went through all of them and I sorted them out. I put ones that I thought, you know, okay, yes, I will use those on one side and other ones that seemed a little bit extra risque, <laughs> I put those on the other side. So um, I knew which ones that I probably would use and the other ones, hmm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, and then this is one of those little pen knives. As you might tell, we like to shop a little here and there online. <laughs> so it's got a little cap on it here, but yeah, it's a pen knife. Isn't that cool? And then, okay, here is another roll of that washi tape she made. Oopsie, I don't want to, oh, there we go. With the napkins. This is so gorgeous. I love the colors. Such beautiful napkins. And then because it's on double-sided tape, it just, the backing peels off and it's sticky. So yeah, you'll have to uh, check out her video tutorial on that. I'm anxious to um, try this out on some projects. Uh, years ago, I tried making some washi tape on uh, masking tape stamping on to masking tape but what I found is the masking tape didn't want to take the ink too well but it also seemed to kind of fade over time so this was some washi that was holding something in here but these are um thread uh threaders for thread <laughs> does that make sense they've got the little wire loop on there you can thread needles with them or like the uh, needles on your sewing machine. And I told her that I really loved the long handles on these because especially when you're trying to thread the needle on your sewing machine. And then she gave me a pair of these really beautiful scissors. I just love them. <clears throat> Okay, I will have to get that sorted better in there. Oops, I'm losing my cloth here. Now on to the box. So um, she covered this box with this wonderful contact paper. It's just perfect. I love the whole vintage design. And I did turn it over, Patty, and I saw the cute um, one that you cut out and put on the bottom. It was like a little surprise. I just loved that. But yeah, so pretty. And there's a whole lot of fun in here. So there's more ribbon. Of course, I will use all these ribbons and really cute tissue paper. You know that as um, paper crafters, we like to hang on to all of this stuff and use it. Remember how I told you those rolls had pretty um, lace around them? Well, here it is. Isn't that gorgeous? And fun little bulb pins or garment pins in there. So there's that one and this one. These are so pretty. And this one, I just love them. <clears throat> okay, let's see what is in here. Okay, more things that she made. So this is so cool. These are 
like cluster strips. So I'm I'm know she has a video on doing this as well. I'm pretty positive. And so yeah, she just made these long um like ruffles out of the music paper and then she sewed it sewed down the middle to keep the keep it in place and then added all the the little designs on here so you can use like a strip of it you can cut each one and just use the little individual clusters i love these I love all the threads and like the, um, oh, my mind's not working, you guys. Um, yeah, cheesecloth. <clears throat> but the kids on here are so cute. And look at that. I have some of that stuff, I think. Yeah, these are just so cool. So, so cool. I'll have to try making some of these because they just look like a lot of fun to make. And then she gave me some napkins. These are just the cutest bunnies. Because you can use these with like those strips that she made. But these bunnies are too cute. I would just cut this bunny out and decoupage it onto something I think would make a really adorable box. All kinds of fun things in here. I love my little anxiety amethyst heart to stick in my pocket or in my purse. And then look at these fun um, tweezers. These are the kind, like the reverse tweezers that hold things really nicely for you. And then lots of fun little packages here. Oh, these are um, like the, the big tea bags. So you can do lots of fun things with these. I love to um, stick pictures inside of the tea bags, like the Tim Holtz pictures and put collage medium on them because then it makes them sort of see-through to see what's inside. You could fill them up with um, glitter or sequins. There's just lots of stuff you can do with these. <clears throat> so very cool. And these are really pretty little um, papers really fun for card making or in a journal or junk journal. You could even do these onto like a bookmark or something. Envelope type things, pockets, lots of things. And then this is a gorgeous um, big tag that she made so it's got lace over it here with a little tablet stuck in the lace pocket I'm not gonna pull it all the way out but there you can see it and look how she tucked the things from the front around to the back and a cute little pearl on there and then I like the little friends thing up here and a cute rose cabbage on there and then we've got tags stuck inside the little pocket there. And this one's stitched and decoupaged. So pretty. And such a fun thing to tuck inside of a journal or something. Speaking of journals, <clears throat> excuse me um patty and i are going to do a project together a junk journal sort of a project um that we are going to um uh 
co video do live video so we'll both be on the screen working uh in the journals that will be something to watch for i think whatever was in here i took out but another cute little pocket and here is another one so yeah you'll have to keep an eye out for that and i will let you know when we're going to be doing that and these are all little envelopes. They are the most adorable little envelope. Check this out. So they have a tag in them. And the envelope is like a sleeve. Are those not cute or what? So cute. All different sizes. And then look at this one. And this has some really fun frames and things in it. So she said that she'd had these frames in her stash and she figured she may as well get them out and do something with them. So she made these really cool clusters on them. Don't quit your daydream. I just think these are so pretty. Love them. And then she tucked one of these in here for me. She said it's a like a um, silicone spatula, but it works really well for spreading glue. Um, out on your pages I think it would work really well like um, for stenciling and stuff as well okay and then we've got this fun package So this is like a little, almost like a little tag book, and it's collaged and just so fun. There's lace there with that pocket, and then inside of here is like a journaling spot. Plus you could journal there, and then it's got... Forever is composed of now. It's got a little place to write there. And a fabric doily. That's so cool. Some lace trim. And some fun little cards there. And that's like a little tuck spot there with a, um, like a postcard. Spoils me so much, you guys. And then look at this gorgeousness. And that's just a little like lace tuck spot there. That's cool. I didn't notice that before. It's a really pretty um Mm hmm I don't know where my words are. Be your own kind of beautiful. And that's like a little mini postcard. What 
Why can't I think of the name? Eyelet. There we go. Get it together, Jana. Okay. And then these are two little, like, um, signatures that she's sewn together with fun papers in here. Little mini books. So cute. And then, oh, these are just really cool papers. Another gorgeous bird sticker here. These bird stickers are very stickery. There we go. You know what this paper reminds me of is like, um, it reminds me of coffee filter paper. It's really cool. And so like, did you tea or coffee stain this, Patty? I can't remember. I think she did. I can't remember though <clears throat> if she did or if she said it came that way. It's very cool. And then look at what's in the uh oh, craft a lunch. What's in the bottom here? Oh, this too. Look at this paper clip. It holds like a pencil or a pen. So fun. And then in the bottom of the box here is a metal sign for my craft room and look at how she even finished the inside of this box the craft room is my happy place isn't that gorgeous and the little scissors with the rose on it <clears throat> so i need to get this hung up patty thank you again for all these wonderful treasures i just love everything like I said, you spoil me, you spoil me for sure. So, again, I will post Kathy's um, channel link in the description box below. So be sure to go over and you, if you haven't subscribed to her channel, you will want to because she just posts really cool things and does a really great job of explaining how to do things. And... Um, yeah, it's one that you will want, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care, happy crafting, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.